Oh, you're hitting again. I know, I know, I can feel it. Oh. We're gonna tear up our, our trailer. We had an incident in a campground. A really close call. Welcome to the channel. I'm Paul. And I'm Liz. And these are exciting times to push Pat's fear, build confidence, and live amazing. And sometimes it's difficult to live amazing in this <laughs> lifestyle. Have you ever had a day where you do everything right and still everything goes wrong? It was one of those days. <sighs> We have some tips for you as to how to get through bad days, even if you are doing everything right. So let's tell yeah. you the story first of what happened. So we had never been to a campground called Idlewild in California, and it sits on a mountaintop at almost 7,000 feet. And it is just gorgeous. Now this campground was probably built 50 years ago, and it really makes you think of that time 50 years ago. But also, and this, here's what we didn't know, the roads are narrow and the sites are small. There, yes, yes. Yeah. It was set up for for campers from, like you said, fifty mm -hmm. years past. And, and yeah, think of Fred and Wilma Flintstone and their little camper, and that's pretty much what this campground set up for. So we researched because we'd never been here. We did research to make sure that our thirty-five foot trailer could fit here, and we found out that fine. Didn't seem to be a problem. Um, there's another park here in California that where they say if you're over 32 feet, call mm -hmm. uh, because there's a chance you there isn't a spot for you there. So, but there's none of that here. Um, yeah, and there are spaces for our rig. Um, we just <laughs> we just had a couple little incidents uh, trying yeah. to find those spaces. So we get to the the park at the entrance. Yeah, after a long day of driving, we we left Wickenburg, Arizona. Arizona. Uh, we were staying with with a friend of mine, Jerry. Hi, Jerry and Debbie. We left there in the morning and drove all day to get here. It was about a five-hour drive. Right, and then the last 40 minutes is 30 miles an hour up the mountain. I mean, it, and it really, it's beautiful. It's a pretty drive, but it is steep and uh, lots of switchbacks. I actually took over driving because I didn't mind it. Yeah. It was a little stressful for Paul. I get a little stressed <laughs> in the situation. So then we get to the gate where it's a Thousand Trails campground. For those of you that are interested in Thousand Trails, we've done a, a different video about Thousand Trails, but we get there and we check in and how does that go? Nice young lady at the gate, help, very helpful. We we uh, we asked her about um, cell coverage, and she said, "Well, if the best is up, you know." She pointed to an area on the map, and you just take this road and just keep going straight, and and it'll t it'll lead you to it. Mm -hmm. Well, that was problem number one. <laughs> right. So you know, we're not knocking the ranger, but she was not an RVer, and she saw our RV, and for whatever reason, didn't say you shouldn't go down there. Yeah. <laughs> After you cross this one intersection, there's actually a sign that says if you're over 30 feet, you shouldn't be going this way. No. We're, yeah, we're 35 feet plus our truck, so we're probably 55 feet. And that sign really should is be... Is on the wrong side of the intersection. Yeah. <laughs> it's at the point of no return. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> yeah. So we get going up this road, and we see it's very narrow, and there's trees on the edges, and Paul has to do a Houdini U-turn. We realize we can't go any <laughs> yeah. further. I had to back into uh, this drop-off area that, to be able to turn around and... Oh, and we have a bike rack on the back and the bike rack's like digging a hole in the dirt just trying to get us to turn around. So that was really stressful. Now remember, when you're planning your days and you're going to arrive at a campground, you really want to make sure that you arrive at a decent time. And you definitely don't want to have a full day of driving and it be late at night because you're you're going to be on stress overload. Yeah, I mean, we were yeah. lucky that it was two o'clock. We'd had a relatively, you know, yeah. moderate day as far as stress. Yeah. But that U-turn was awful. That was the beginning. I, that was, was just the beginning. Oh, of we were just awful. So I had the map and, you know, he's driving and I said, we're not going to make any turns. We're going to go around the perimeter of the campground and get to where the majority of the campsites are. I don't want to have to make any more turns, right? Right. <laughs> so we did that. Now we're on another road that, that's steep and, and narrow, but, but doable in our rig. So it's, that's not a big deal. We get to this road. That we need that to turn we need left, to turn left we, on. It's our only choice. Otherwise, we're going to be going in this 
awfulness again. We yeah. need to make this it left turn. It would have let, led us into that same section that we just got out of. <laughs> we needed to turn left, but what was going on? There were some trees being cut, and they had, you know, the tree grinder in the middle of the road. You know, they have to do this area is heavily wooded, and you, they've got to trim the trees. So we're not mad at the tree guys. It was just the timing, and that road was going to be closed for two more hours. We can't block the road. Right. Yeah. So now we're in a pickle. Yeah. We're in a pickle. Yeah. So uh, so we're stuck again. Just, and and um, Already stressed. <laughs> and I'm looking at either backing a quarter of a mile down a windy road, which Impossible. isn't, isn't going to happen. Uphill. It would have been uphill, too. Uphi yeah. One of the things we did was we got out and we walked up and assessed the situation. Yeah. I There's did. a grade change. So what the situation was is the hill goes up to a T-junction. And the hill goes up, the T-junction's flat, so a big grade change. Yeah, huge. And I thought if I went far enough left, I could make the turn. To turn right on that make, T. Yeah, and uh, I was wrong. Yes, yeah, so here's the other thing that we did, was we slowly went and made the turn. We had our windows open, and we heard a... Like a thunk, right? Yeah. So that's the other thing was we stopped. And oh, that was the worst thing. Yeah, it was it was gut wrenching because the the back of the truck had had hit the underside of the fifth wheel. So the truck had gotten up on level plane and the tailgate made contact and was was digging into the underside of the trailer mm. and dented the mm. underside of the trailer. Mm. Well, in the moment, we were freaked out. It was scary. We were concerned about ripping up our camper, just, you know, destroying the camper. Mm -hmm. We didn't know what to do. If we went any further forward, we really could cause some oh, serious yeah. damage. Yeah. We knew we couldn't go backwards. We knew we couldn't go down the closed road. It was the only time that we had done travel where I was near tears, just absolutely near tears. Well, it didn't do any da permanent damage. Might have bent some stuff up inside. Oh my God. I just don't even want to stay here now. I don't either, right? But what are we going to do? I don't know. So Paul somehow did some Houdini stuff <laughs> again and was able to get the rig so that we we're going now left and, and leaving the park. We, we did do and, and learn some great things. And so, so the first tip that we have for you, if you get into one of these situations is don't make a rash decision. Right. Cause after that, we both said, let's just leave this campground. We're not going to come back. We can't deal with it anymore. Yeah. We just have to get out of here. Yeah. 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 I just didn't think at that moment, I just didn't think there was anything that we were going to fit into. We just felt like we were done with the campground, but by taking a breather, which is tip number two, we reset and we realized we had 21 days here and we just needed to take that break. I walked mango, you just kind of chilled out. Mm -hmm. We just needed that break and, and it was a good thing we didn't leave. Yeah, it was a little tough <laughs> after this stop. We had, okay, now how are we gonna turn around? Because even the roads leading up into the park are narrow and there's this, just not a lot of room to turn around a, a you know, 55, Feet of RV. Yeah, the stress kept coming, so I'm glad we took the break because we're now pointing on a narrow road outside the campground and we have to go down a residential street, back up this residential street, back up into it, and U turn. Don't make it worse by having a fight with your partner on top of it all. And we we actually did really good. Yeah, we did. We yeah. got through it without without uh, much drama between us. Thank we you. stayed on the Mm -hmm. on the same page the whole time. So, I mean, we've been in situations where the day's going so bad and you take it out on your partner and that just makes it worse. So just remember who you're with and remember that you're on the same team. We did come back into the campground. We chose the easiest site we could find. We were not picky. We were like, just, just park this thing, right? <laughs> but it turned out to be, we're in a great spot. <laughs> oh my gosh, we love our site. Yeah. It's really great. We yeah. have this whole section to ourselves. So the site we're in is surrounded by a lot of sites. I haven't counted them, but there's, I don't know, 10, 15 sites around us. Right now, we're the only one in one of the sites. And the weekends, this past weekend, it filled up. Um, I think there was one open site 
come Monday morning, they were all gone. So for us, that's awesome. You know, we have friends and people we can socialize with, make new friends on the weekend, and then we have this solitude that we really love mm -hmm. during the week. Once you get settled, take some time to celebrate. <laughs> right. We did the most minimal setup possible. We did not put out the patio mat, and I think this is really important. We both sat down. We had a little bit of sangria or yeah. beer or something, yeah. Yeah. and we took a break. So be easy on yourself and let yourself celebrate that you're here and take another breath. Yeah, you made it without uh, without tearing up anything <laughs> permanently. Right, which leads us into tip number five, is counting your blessings. It could have been so much worse. The only damage we did is on that U-turn that I, that I had to do, the first U-turn that I had to do when I had to back into that drop-off, it broke the cap on the drain. Luckily, it just broke the cap and not the pipe. Yeah, and then, of course, the second thing was, you know, the tailgate and the dent, oh, yeah. you know. Sometimes you can do everything right and everything still can go wrong or it yeah. certainly can feel like everything it. Everything still goes to hell. Yeah. <laughs> So we'd love to hear from you. I'm sure you have a story. If you uh, have been camping for any length of time, you will have a story like this. Yeah, and yeah. Tell us your story about, you know, getting trapped on, on a dead-end road. And, <laughs> and I'm sure that's happened. Yeah, how, yeah. If you've, been, if you've camped for any, any length of time, you, you have probably had that happen to you. Or you've driven down the road and your sewer hose is following you, just kind of dragging you down the road. You really haven't been a camper until you've done that. Yeah. So we want to hear your stories and um, we still love RV life and I yeah. think that's the main thing. Yeah, so. yeah. No, no, we're not stopping because of any of this. I mean, it's just, you know, stuff happens. Right. And we also want to invite you to join the A-Team because we do have a great community of campers and wannabes and people that just that just want to hear more about RV life. And you, we learned so much from you, so absolutely by subscribing, you become part of the A-Team. You become part of our community. Yeah, please join. Hit the subscribe button and uh, ring the bell and, and come on for our ride. Yeah, perfect.